Good evening, it's Thursday the 20th of November 2014 and you're watching Tones for Tash. We're here in support of Movember and if you don't know what that is or why we're doing any of this, please click the link below and visit the Movember website. So tonight's Tones for Tash comes from the beautiful City Hall in Salisbury. Uh, I'm here with my good friend uh, who is playing with Marty Wilde and the Wildcats tonight. He is Neville Martin. Hello. <coughs> So for tonight's Tones for Tash, Nev's going to talk you through his rig that he uses on this tour, show you his guitars and play you some sounds. Enjoy this video and we'll see you tomorrow night for more Tones for Tash. I'm here, I'm in Salisbury City Hall tonight. We're 22 dates through a 31 date tour. It's Marty Wilde's Rock and Roll Party with Marty, Eden Kane, John Layton and Nancy Ann Lee. And uh, as I say, we're 10 to go. I'm using my usual rig that I use with Marty uh, Ampwise, which is my matchless, it's actually an SC30. It's a single, uh, single speaker, 1x12 combo. And uh, I've got it set on 15 watts, it's on half power because we're using in-ears and we've got monitors, we don't need much out front sound, we don't need the amp to be working very hard. I'm using three guitars on the tour. Uh, the main guitar I've switched to is a Telecaster. I got this from World Guitars a couple of weeks ago. I traded it for a Red Strat that I had that I really liked, but I didn't like it as much as I like my Sunburst one, which I'm using here. This is a really great guitar. It's a um, 53 Tele reissue and a quite heavy relic. I love it. It's really comfortable. It's got a quite slim neck, but I actually quite like that. It's really comfortable to play, big frets, flat uh, fingerboard, and it's really nice. It's got the four-way switch on it, so in number two, I've got um, neck and bridge pickup in series. I play acoustic quite a lot. There's 23 songs I play on electric, 13 I play on acoustic, and I reckon about half of those I've got capos on, so there's a lot of things to remember, a lot of changes to make. Um, and it's a Gibson J185. I love it. It's a great stage guitar. It's uh, got a good sound. It's got an LR bag system fitted in, which sounds just great. No problems. They don't have to mess about with it out front. Also, it looks great on stage, but it doesn't upstage Marty and Eden with their J200s, which is, you, don't, you mustn't do that. But it's a good looking guitar and it's smaller as well. So it, being a bit of a short, short person, it fits me well. My pedal board's fairly simple. I've got more pedals on the board than I actually use on this gig. I've got, I, I use three echo, different echo sounds on this uh, gig. I can't actually remember what they are, so I'm gonna turn around and have a quick look. One is a double pedal, it's a dual uh, echo. It's a BBE two-timer, but I really like it. You can set the two different delays. So I have a, a slap back and I have a generic echo that I use pretty much all the time. And we do one uh, Cliff and the Shadows song where I have to be Hank Marvin. And so I've got a, a one, I use it, use it on one sound, and that's a flashback, which I have on a pretty heavy uh, repeats and pretty heavy depth and a fairly slow echo. And it does sound really nice with a strap with the old uh, vibrato arm. I actually got, I've got two tuners on the pedal board, one for the electric and one for the acoustic. And the one for the acoustic, a black and a white uh, small um, TC one, and the black one's for the electric, the white one's for the acoustic and I use that for the on-off so the sound guys don't have to do it, I control that myself. If you can hear some singing in the background, it's Marty Wilde um, having a very enjoyable early evening. He must have had two cups of tea, I reckon. Um, other pedals on the board, I have two overdrives. Um, I've got a, a Free the Tone Red Jasper, which seems to be all the rage at the moment, and I've got um, a full tone OCD. I really love them both and I don't use much overdrive at all because it's not required but I use the OCD for a fairly dirty but quite quiet uh, sound that I use in one song um, but it's not a loud gig. I've got my matchless, it's on half power which is 15 watts. I've I'm only got it about a third of the way up in volume but as I say we're using these really nice ACS in-ear monitors which are brilliant. We've only used them for about six months and I absolutely love them. It's changed the whole gig really uh, for all of us actually so it's great very enjoyable show okay that's enough twaddle let's uh, see what some of this stuff sounds like 